You have all done remarkable service under the most difficult conditions. You'll be receiving Starfleet's highest commendation. Up your shaft. The Enterprise is not... Jim, the Enterprise is old. There will be no refit. May I ask why? We feel your day is over. What's going to happen to the Enterprise? My friends, she has to be decommissioned. Will we get another ship? I remember reading about your missions when I was in grade school. Oh, really? This is the first Starship Enterprise in 30 years without James T. Kirk in command. How do you feel about that, sir? Oh, just fine. I'm glad to be here to send her on her way. And what have you been doing since you retired? Keeping busy. In every measurable sense, my Enterprise is far superior. I'm here to help. I've got a job to do here. And quite frankly, you're in the way. I was driving starships while your great-grandfather was still in diapers. What the hell are you still doing here? Enterprise will go along just fine without you. I hear you. <laughs> I was like you once. So worried about duty and obligation, I couldn't see past my own uniform. And what did it get me? An empty house. Not this time. Report, sir. The implosion has produced a level 12 shockwave. Oh my god. What the hell is he doing? Someone is stealing the Enterprise. Kurt, you do this, you'll never sit in the captain's chair again. Behold the quintessential devil in these matters, James T. Kirk, renegade and terrorist. I will terminate him. Sentinel James T. Kirk of Federation Starship Enterprise, you have two minutes to surrender your crew and your vessel, or we will destroy you. How dare you? You have a duty. Fire, Mr. Scott. I'm laughing at the superior intellect. I will make them pay for what they've done. I swear to you, we're not finished yet. Fire. You are all but sands in his way. If you cannot stop him tonight, then I fear that tomorrow may never come. <laughs>